Hands to heart center, Namaskar Mudra. Let's open our practice with three arms. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. One more. Inhale. Place the thumbs on the sternum. Open your lotus, open your Namaskar Mudra into Lotus Mudra. And just breathe here. So today our practice, our intention is to relax the body fully, totally. Releasing any anxiety, any fears. And just totally relaxing. There's nowhere else you need to be right now. This is your time. So opening the hands to Lotus Mudra. Our Kriya, our Pranayama is blooming lotus. So we're going to inhale up and just bring your lotus above the head and just slightly forward and then exhale allow your lotus to bloom bringing it back to the heart so we're opening the heart here. Inhale up Allow your lotus, your beautiful lotus to bloom. Exhale softly. Slowing down the breath. Opening up the lotus, opening up the heart. soft, gentle movements. And take the drishti inside to the heart as you raise up your lotus. Drishti to the third eye, the all seeing. Inhale. Allow your lotus to bloom. Opening up the heart. Gentle smile on the face and gently curl up the corners of the mouth. Relax the whole body.
the shoulders to soften the, soften on the exhale. Feel the energy of your blooming lotus. To visualize or sense that energy. Coming back to the heart, feeling the heart. With openness, with love. Do one more inhale and exhale. Allow the hands to float down to the knees, palms facing up. Draw the chin so it's parallel with the earth and take your inner awareness to the heart, Anahata Chakra. Expanding the chest. Expanding the heart's capacity with each inhale. The spine is long. Allow the whole face to soften. Palms are open to receive this beautiful energy. Filling the heart space. Gently wiggle the fingers and toes. Take the gaze from side to side. And coming off your block. And now coming over to a wall or um, maybe a chair. Just going to take the legs up the wall. So a nice restorative pose. When you come over to your wall, you can actually use this, the bed or a chair, whatever you have, the lounge, if you're in the lounge room, whatever you have available for you, as long as you've got your feet elevated above your heart and your brain. So we're getting all that beautiful fresh blood, all that beautiful um, pranayama back into the heart and back into the brain. So come side onto the wall. Then we're going to take the legs up the wall and then just wiggle so that you're nice and close to the wall. Now, if you, you can stay in this position or you can use a block or a bolster to come into a supine position, whatever you feel comfortable with today. I'm just going to lay on the floor. So 
flex the feet here to engage through the hamstrings. So you want to engage that whole time that you're here. Bring the hands out to the side. Or you may like to take the left hand onto the heart and the right hand onto the solar plexus. Flex the feet, close down the eyes. And just breathe here. Rhythmic, slow, your jai breath. A gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. Let go of any tension. Just relax. Nice and calm. Take the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to fall wide, coming into a wall butterfly here. You can bring the palms of the hands onto the knees, gently guide them towards the wall. Just breathe here. If the mind wanders, just bring it back to the breath. Witnessing the inflow and the outflow of each round of breath. Like the tides in the ocean, just ebbing and flowing. One continual movement of life force energy.
So just take the legs up the wall and then we're going to bring the legs wide onto the wall into a wall straddle. Just allow the legs to fall wide. I'm just going to bring my legs up but you can straighten the legs into straight legs up the wall or have them wide, whatever's in your practice today. And if it's in your practice, you can bring the arms above the head, really open up the front side of the body. Just breathe. Relax all the shoulders, all the muscles in the back. And allow the whole back body to melt into the earth. And then bend the knees, bring them into the chest, give them a big hug and roll over to the right side body with helping hands coming up. So lying down on the mat now, we're coming into a twist. So lay down. Raise both legs, inhale. Take the right leg across the left and then back underneath into twisted roots. Arms are at the side to a 45 degree, inhale. Exhale, allow both legs to fall to the left side body. Maybe bring that left hand onto the right knee, gently guide it towards the earth. And then take the gaze to the right fingertips. And just breathe here, it's a nice twist. Close down the eyes. Jai breath. Gentle ocean sound in the back of the head.
inhale coming back up to center undo the legs and take the left leg across the right high on the thigh and then back underneath if you can take the toes around the right ankle inhale if not that's okay inhale exhale take both hand, both legs to the right side take the gaze to the left fingertips maybe bring that right hand onto the left knee and just come into stillness if you have any lower back issues just take it easy maybe put a blanket or a pillow or a bolster underneath the knees just for support the body to fully relax here. Enjoy breath. And coming back up to centre, undo the legs and bring the knees into the chest. Give them a big hug, rolling from side to side. Just massage the sacrum here. And then straighten the legs out on the earth. Bring the hands above the head. Take both feet, walk both feet to the right side and then bring the hands and arms to the right side. So you're making a banana shape with the spine into banana asana or a C shape. Take that left ankle above the right. And just allow it to rest there. Take the gaze to the right side. that beautiful stretch right through the left side body. Just breathe. Let go of any tension. If you're holding on to anything, let it go. Allow the muscles to soften and relax.
then come back through center, undo the legs. Bring both legs to the left side and both arms and hands and then take the right ankle on top of the left. Take the gaze to the left side. So feeling a beautiful stretch right through the right side body, making that C shape or that banana shape with this asana. And just breathe. Gently coming back to centre, undo the legs. Bring the knees into the chest. Let's do some nice circles on the sacrum. Just release through the sacrum, release through the spine, come back into neutral. And take the hands under the knees, three rocks along the spine. So let's come into Shavasana now. Preparation for your Yoga Nidra. Gathering anything you need to be the most comfortable that you can be. So if you have a, a pillow for the head, an eye pillow for the eyes, that's lovely if you have. Or you can put a scarf over the eyes, anything really, just to block out all the senses. Bring a bolster under the knees. A blanket, make sure you're nice and warm, totally supported and comfortable. And just settling in now. Bring the arms down beside the body, palms facing up. And make any last adjustments to be the most comfortable that you can be. Let's inhale fully and release the breath. As you release, allowing the whole back body to melt down into the earth. Big inhale. 
And as you let go, allow the whole front body to melt into the back body. One more deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And take your awareness now to any sounds. Any sounds inside the room. And any sounds you may hear outside of the room. slowly let the sounds release, let them go. And bring the awareness to the heart. So the breath is easy now. There is no effort required. Just relax, soften, set your intention to relax. So we're going to go around the body. I'll mention each body part. And as we go around, you can just feel or sense each body part. And set an intention for each body part to relax as we go around the body. Take your focus to each point. Allow it to become heavy and relax. Take your awareness now to the toes, to the right toe, the second toe, the third, and the fourth, and the fifth toe. The soles of the feet, the top of the feet. Take your awareness now to the heel, the lower leg, the kneecap is soft and relaxed, the upper leg, the right side body, to the armpit, the upper arm, the elbows, the lower arm, and the right wrist, the palm of the hand, and the back of the hand, soft, and relax. The right thumb, second finger, third, fourth, and the fifth finger. The whole right body is relaxed. All right body is relaxed. 
Take your awareness now to the left big toe. The second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the fifth toe. The sole of the foot, the top of the foot. left ankle, the lower leg, and the knee, the upper leg, the left hip, the left side of the body, the left armpit, the upper arm, elbow, and the lower arm, the left wrist, the left palm of the hand, the back of the hand, the thumb, second finger, third, fourth, and the fifth finger. The whole left side of the body is relaxed. Left side body is relaxed. Take your awareness now to the chest, the heart space, to the right shoulder, the right arm, the right wrist, and the right hand, right through to the fingertips, soft and relaxed. Right hand again, the L wrist, the elbow and the armpits. Take your awareness back to the chest, back to the heart, to the left armpit, the left upper arm, the elbow, the lower arm, left wrist, <laughs> palm of the hand, the back of the hand, right through to the fingertips. To the hand, the wrist, the lower arm, the upper arm, the left armpit and the chest, the whole heart space, soft and relaxed, calm and open. Take your awareness now to the belly, the belly button and the navel. All the abdominal organs are soft the hips, the thighs, the knees, the lower legs, the feet and the toes. The whole body is relaxed. The whole body is relaxed. So you are in a state of relaxation. Body is heavy. 
body is calm. So set your sankalpa. Something that you would like to achieve. Or maybe there's a body part that needs some extra love or attention. Create a short mantra here for your Sankalpa to manifest the desire. And then just chant that mantra internally three times. Could be send healing to my lower back. It could be an emotion that you would like to release or gain. Something you'd really like to achieve. Chanting three times. And sending it out into the universe. Release the whole body. Calmness. Let it go. awareness now to the back of the head. You feel the connection on the earth, feeling heavy, calm, relaxed and connected. The crown of the head, the third eye centre. Allow the eyebrows to soften and melt. The eyes. The whole face. Releasing, letting go. Observing this sensation of heaviness on the surface. The whole back body melted, heavy and supported. Nowhere else you need to be right now. Just here. Just be.
when you're ready, just bringing the awareness back to the breath. And with each inhale, feeling a little lighter. A little lighter, a little more lighter with each inhale. And then feeling as light as a feather. And maybe floating just above the earth. Now visualize lying in the sun. Having a sense of that beautiful heat, warmness on the whole body. The sun is beaming down all over your face and heart, over the entire body. Soaking up all that beautiful warmness. Basking in the sun. Now visualize yourself lying in the snow, surrounded by beautiful, fluffy snow, cold, the chill of the snow. And sense that coolness, freshness of the snow. Gently, when you're ready, introducing movement into the fingers and toes. Gently rolling the head from side to side. Raising the right hand above the head. And rolling over onto the right side body. Just laying here in the fetal position for a few moments and take your thoughts back to today's Sankalpa. Today's desire to manifest through your mantra. And if you can remember that mantra, just say that mantra to yourself three more times. And throughout your day, whenever you pause or for a moment, just repeat the Sankalpa. When you're ready with helping hands, coming up to a seated position. Half lotus or easy pose, come to sit on a block. Let's do a few rounds of Aloma Aloma here, alternate nostril breathing. Take the two piece fingers of the right hand to the third eye center. Inhale, left hand in Jhana Mudra, palms facing up. Inhale. And exhale. Soft shoulders, 
Take the thumb to the right nostril. Inhale left for five, four, three, two, and one. Close the left, exhale right for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Allow the shoulders to soften and melt. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Let's do one more round. Inhale left. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right. Exhale left. Float the right hand down to the knees. Let's turn the hands over. Face the palms down. For grounding. Just breathe here. No effort. Just relax. Take the hands to heart center. Thumbs on the sternum. Namaskar mudra. I'm giving gratitude gratitude for today's practice. Gratitude to ourselves and gratitude to our intention. Practice, serve us to 
open our heart and open our mind. May our intention serve us in opening our heart and opening our mind. Let's close today's practice with one Om and three Shantis. Inhale. Oh. Inhale for Shanti. 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 Gratitude and kindness to our body. Gratitude and kindness to all beings. Gratitude and kindness to ourselves, to our heart. Namaste. Take the time now to sit in your space for as long as you need. 